Hello and welcome to yet another photo shooting video. We're here with Lisa and we are here at a park where we definitely shot before but today we'll be shooting with this infrared camera. I shot with this a, like the year before um, and I just really wanted to see how it would be like shooting here because there's so many different kind of color tones and I thought it would be kind of interesting to see how an infrared full spectrum um, infrared camera would capture the colors as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Is it too hot? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So I was thinking like maybe if you could like sit um, up there on the stairs, just like half between um, the shade and the sunlight. Here? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And just kind of like, actually one more step up if that's okay. And then just sit kind of like looking into the camera, your elbows on your knees. So for this shoot, it's going to be a little bit of a patient yeah. shoot because we're working with an old A3000 camera which is modified for infrared shooting. I just thought that this location would be a great location to so actually again, test we'll out how the light because, would be perceived here um, because there are different so wavelengths of light and also different kind of color tones. And yes, we shot with infrared cameras before, but with this shoot, it's not in a forest shoot, but there are some urban structures which I'm actually eager to actually see. That being said, spoiler alert, um, some of the shots can look creepy because of how light is perceived from the model's face and how light is perceived in general. I will be taking several shots yeah. though because, you know, it's an A3000 and I'm not really sure how well the focusing so the system will keep up. So for the shoot, like, it's just going to be a lot of patience um, and also with a bit of redundancy in terms of the shooting as well. Like so yeah. Um, dark. Is it strong enough to be set on that the, yeah. the red tire? Yeah. Just kind of like sitting on and just also similar cool look that we had over there. Yeah, I really like the harsh shadows. Yeah, that's great. I want to go a bit um, tighter on you. Yeah. Actually, could we do the same pose but on one of those tires? You know the red one with a pink mark and the blue mark in the middle? Yeah, just right there. Then I have more dimensions on you. Yeah. Good. Yeah, more shades to play with. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah, that's really nice. Um, I kind of like the shade. What if you're just kind of in the middle over here and um, you do like a sitting pose that's like kind of like you remember the pose you did on the bench in Siam Square? Like just just kind of like hugging your knee pose? Yeah. yeah, if you could do that in the middle here. Actually screwed up a little bit like to around here. here. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not squatting, like your butt on, on, on the, like you remember the bench post? Yeah, like that. I quite like it. Let me go a bit further back. I'm seeing your whole body for this one. I'm gonna be a bit closer, but, but keep the pose actually. Get a bit bit higher. Another one where you're on that bench. Yeah. Um, I'll be sitting um, where the tires are, and you can just kind of like, um, if you could just kind of like sit sideways and then look into the camera that is around here. Yeah, just scoot a little bit more here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have to be a bit over here for this shoot. Could you put your hand a little bit closer to your body? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You, like the other hand a bit closer yeah it's good it's just, I'm very tight right now the focus is a bit slow sorry Just another casual day in Thailand. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be loud, but I was wondering if we could do the same pose like that you were sitting and crossing your knees, um, but just kind of in, in the center. Okay. Yeah, I'll be a bit from above angle. Actually, I'll be from this side. Yeah, I'll be here. So you're just kind of like facing me? No. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, that was it for this um, 
random really spontaneous shoot uh, I just wanted to experiment with this infrared uh, colored camera um, yeah but Lisa was really talented and really nice as usual and um, yeah thank you for coping with the heat um, it's really really boiling hot <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, I hope you can actually find the results somewhat interesting. Um, for me, it was definitely interesting seeing how um, certain colors were reversed, how certain dark tones were inverted to lighter tones, and how um, it kind of, kind of convert, converted like a blonde color hair into more like a witch white hair um, yeah. in some of the photos. So that was definitely very interesting um, to see. But uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, any suggestions, feel free to also just comment down in the comment section below. If you need a free photography guidebook or you just wanna look at my online courses, it's also, the link is down in the description section below as well. Otherwise, I thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>